This is a brief update to the GameSir X3 review I recently published, where I cover some of the problems I forgot to include in the main review, as well as expand further on issues I picked up the first time around. I was jet lagged and sleep deprived when I made the main review, which is why these things were missed out. Well, that's my excuse anyway. So if you haven't watched that video, I have a link to it in the description below. Let's start with something I completely missed out. When I test the controller, I always test the buttons, sticks and triggers using the GamePad tester app. I didn't make any mention of the results when I published my review, and honestly, I could barely remember doing the tests. Thankfully, someone in the comments section asked me about the sticks and how they tested, so I'll cover that here right now. And as you can see, there seems to be an issue with the left stick. And it's not just on my controller, but also Mohammed, the guy who was kind enough to bring this to my attention in the comments section. He had the exact same problem. So I'm wondering, are we just a couple of unlucky guys or is this a widespread problem with the GameSir X3? Have you tested your X3 using GamePad Tester? How did your sticks check out? Let me know in the comments section below. I'd love to know how widespread an issue this is. That takes me onto the problem with the fan. In my review, I tried to power it using a power bank and it just wouldn't power up properly. I had to resort to using a mains USB connection. When I went back to GameSir's page for the X3, they were pretty adamant that to power the fan, you need to use the cable that they provided you with. However, in my testing, it's their USB cable that is the problem. As soon as I swapped out their cable for one of my own, everything worked. I tried this with five different power banks, and out of the five, only two worked with a GameSir cable and three did not. But when I used my own cable, every single one of the power banks were able to work with the cooler. Now I'm not saying that any USB-C cable other than GameSirs is necessarily going to work, as clearly GameSir haven't cornered the global market for crappy USB cables, and I'm not saying that every power bank is going to work either. What I am saying is that you would be much better off just ditching GameSir's USB cable, as it is without a doubt more of a hindrance than a help and you'd be much better off finding a better quality USB-C cable. So if you're having problems getting your fan to work with a power bank, then bear this in mind because it is almost certainly the GameSir supplied cable that's causing the problem. The only other minor issue I've had so far with the X3 is when I got a sound from the D-pad like something had just snapped off. I thought maybe it wasn't seated properly and maybe one of the little pins had broken off but everything seemed to be fine. And that was the one and only time it happened. Although I have to say it was a little disconcerting at the time. If I come across other problems, then I'll make sure to keep you posted. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel. And if you've experienced problems with the GameStar X3, then let me know in the comments section below and share with everyone what sort of problems you've had. And thanks for watching.